Our commitment to create growth pathways for all, especially women, who are the bedrock of undertapped potential in all our economies, remains clear, unyielding, and undiluted. We want to increase the women in our platform by 2x, from 3,000 to 6,000 by the end of 2024. This means investing in our recruitment efforts, making it as easy as possible for women to start earning a livelihood through Grab. We work with the Investing in Women to look at uh, leadership teams in all of the Philippine publicly listed companies. First, um, glass ceilings, they still hold, but they are slowly cracking. So the absolute number of women in executive leadership teams did increase. The total female CEOs in Philippine PLCs are still at 13, 13%. Female directors are at 21%. There are glass walls that keep women in specific roles, so mostly support roles or functional roles, which have low visibility towards senior leadership posts. It's worth noting this because a majority of female CEOs um, come not from support roles, but rather line um, or operational positions which have a profit and loss responsibility. While most firms will have um, gender diversity principles stated in their sustainability reports, only 2% of large firms by revenue classification and none of the small and medium firms among Philippine publicly listed companies have concrete gender targets to support those gender diversity principles. What's more exciting is that what happened last year, we're up to 40% female representation on the board. So it's not just the <laughs> it's not just the executive directors, it's also the alternates, including the director's assistants. But it doesn't stop there. So it's the first time that there are four of twelve executive directors that are female. This is the highest percentage, 33%, higher than any other uh, multilateral development bank. What's one thing that every organization could start doing today, if they're not already doing, that could really support women? Setting a baseline and having a goal is, is really how you should start. In addition to having a baseline, you do actually need to have goals, objectives, and KPIs. When it comes to anything that you're measured by, people will do, quite frankly, by, you know, we're all motivated, but what, what do we are required to achieve? I think that that's the other side of things. Are you rewarded for that, or are you just rewarded for doing your job? I do think it, it helps to raise awareness and to celebrate. Uh, you know, I believe in, you know, in affirmative action or affirmative approach to celebrate the good things so that people can realize, yeah, actually, it's a good thing to do. It's good for you know, what you're trying to achieve. As business leaders, the decisions we make every day impact so many people, whether or not we are conscious of it. I urge you to join us in this mission of inclusive empowerment.